All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. Got some classic Black Ops 1 on the screen right here. Some TDM on WMD. So let's get right into it. So, hmm, my first game of the day. I'm going to throw the trainer wheels on. Let's take it easy. I'm going to put the Bushwookie suit on. Let's go easy mode for my first game here. First game back on Blops in a while. And, oh, what the? Enemy Cobra. Enemy Napalm Strike. What? What's going on here? Oh, my God. My teammates are getting destroyed. Yeah, don't you just love it when you get thrown in a game in progress and <laughs> your team's getting slapped? Mmm. All right. Let's see what we could do here. Uh, Damn. These guys are getting owned. 17 to 2. What's going on here? Let me check the score. General of the Army, 9-0. Is this guy boosting? Let's check the theater mode right here, fellas. Man, 9-0. Is this guy boosting? I would see anyone 0-9 on the other team. Let's check this out right here. So, theater mode. Gotta love theater mode, man. So versatile. Love it. So, ooh, look at all that green in the beginning. See all that red? Yeah, that's when I come in. But all that green in the beginning. This dude started off. This dude was on fire. So, he's got the motion sensor. I don't really know why you would put a motion sensor down in your spawn. Uh... I mean, I'm not the guy to go to for tips and tricks on motion sensor placement, but that was just a little suspect right there, man. I don't know. So, oh, he's got that baby AK. This dude's a beast. I love that baby AK. All right, so he's definitely not boosting. He's rushing around. He's running and gunning. All right, so while we spectate this dude's intro gameplay before we get into me joining the game, I want to talk about a few things. So, first of all, the last video I uploaded, I was talking about the pistols and how they look like they're just a little OP, man, because my boy Optic Espanol... Uh, shout out to him again, by the way. Um, I sent a bunch of you guys over to his channel to check it out. He was very appreciative. You know, he, he messaged me, thanking me very much, showed a lot of respect, which is great. And uh, respect is definitely something that's lacking in the gaming community. <laughs> oh, my God. On the Internet, in the world in general, uh, there's a lot of people just, they seem to just get off on disrespecting other people for no reason. But whatever, man. It is what it is. It's a fallen world. Got to have thick skin. Got to just learn how to deal with shit. And, ooh, dude got smacked up. So, you guys went over to Optic Espanol's channel. Dude's got over 10,000 likes. And there's other people saying to me, Oh, Thunder, that guy had more subs than you anyway, man. You didn't, he didn't need a shout-out from you. And I don't know why people would say that. Uh, I wasn't even trying to give him, like, a shout-out. I just thought the dude had some interesting gameplay. And I wanted you guys to check it out. I wanted you guys to see how quick the pistols melted people in that game. This baby AK right here, a rapid fire, doesn't even melt people as quick as that pistol was melting people in that gameplay. So, damn, this dude is on a roll. Man, look at this. This dude is just smashing people. Some sexy gameplay right here from General of the Army. Ooh, the General bringing in the napalm strike. Look at this shit, man. This dude is on fire. Literally. Look at that. Ooh, another kill right there. All right, so let's see if I could cool this dude off. Let's see if I could demote the general here. All right, so this dude's up here camping. And look, see, see what you're seeing right here, my first kill of this match. Now, the advanced movements in this game, Black Ops 3 that's coming out, the movements it's themselves probably won't be a problem. But the spots they're going to allow you to jump into, that could be the problem, okay? I have a feeling we'll be seeing a whole lot of jumps and spots vids in black ops 3 because them the thrust movements themselves you know they're slow and they put you at disadvantage whatever but the spots that they're going to allow you to get into i think that's going to be the problem see this right here look at this dude someone shooting at me come on son get out of here so that dude climbed up there and there's the general right there that's just a bad spawn that death completely not his fault uh, so I think the spots you're going to be able to get into because of the, the thrust jumping is what's going to be an issue. Uh, you know, they say they want boots on the ground, but people don't camp on the ground. And people like to camp <laughs> up in weird places. I'm going to show you in a second. Now, I've played on this map. I can't even count how many times. And not once have I ever gone where this dude is at. Like, why would you Why would you jump up there? You know, people are going to play the way they want to play, whatever, man. Uh, we're all different. But <laughs> watch, you're going to see, man. Black Ops 3 drops. People are going to be boosting and thrusting into some weird spots. Like, you guys remember uh, all you older Call of Duty players, uh, old school COD. <laughs> there was an old school mode where you could jump really high and do all these fancy jumps. Uh, people were jumping into all kinds of crazy spots. And this shit was just kind of annoying. I really can't imagine why that game mode wasn't uh, as popular as it was. I don't know. But as you can see, I got my Huey. I've got my SR-71. And I know that the SR-71 was not available at the pre-alpha build or beta build or oh, whatever it was look man they've been working on that game for almost three years that game's gonna be in its beta by now they keep calling it a pre-alpha but i have a feeling it's actually the beta uh so i got my vsat up and vondahar's already said that the vsat is coming back which is great because in black ops 3 uh, you've got the talon which is an escort drone 
and you've got the Wraith, which is a Stealth Chopper, and you've got the V-Set. So there you go. My favorite score streak setup from Black Ops 2, already confirmed for Black Ops 3, which is great. And look at the pistol. See, man, the Black Ops 2 pistol was perfect. As I call in my Cujos, but in Black Ops 3, they're going to be called the RAPS. They're just like robotic bowling balls that bowl all around the map and knock your ass out. And ooh, the pistol action again, baby. Damn, the reaction time on these guys, though. I think that dude was using a sniper. I don't know. He was walking down the stairs, aiming down sight. Probably not the best. <laughs> probably not the best way to use a sniper rifle, man. Hey, just look at me kicking ass with the CZ, baby. The CZ is easy mode. And I pick up this gun right here, the AUG. Uh, another thing I noticed in Optic Espanol's video is not just the pistols and how quickly they were melting people, but he was also using the Sixth Sense perk, and it actually helped him out. If you were noticing in that gameplay, he was rushing around, and he picked up somebody on his little radar there because he had the Sixth Sense perk on. He dipped in a corner. The dude ran by him, and he shot him in the back. So I know you, some of you guys out there might be saying, man, that's game-breaking. Campers are going to use that shit. I don't know, man. There'll probably be a perk that counters it. And besides, in Destiny, we can see where we're at all the time on the radar, and it's not that big of a deal. But, all right, fellas, it's time for me to take to the skies. I got a flight to catch. It's time to slide the door back, start owning some noobs. All right, guys, here we go. Alright noobs, thank you so much for flying Thunder Airlines, catch you in the next video, and when I came out of my chopper, I was completely discombobulated, I didn't know where I was, and look at this, this dude, how did this dude know where I was, what? He had the motion sensor, man, <laughs> he had the motion sensor, he got me, so General of the Army, he got me, that was my one and only death of this match, fellas, uh, I was wondering how he got me, the dude had his motion sensor, he put it in the right place that time, he had it right up against the wall, and he saw me the whole time, uh, as you can see right there, yeah. So, I'll play it, baby. I'll play it. So, the portable radar is going to work just like that Sixth Sense perk. Uh, but I guess it won't have the range. Everyone told me you had to be really, really close to people for Sixth Sense to work. It doesn't sound like that perk's going to be a game-breaking perk. But I guess we'll have to wait and see until August when the beta drops. And speaking of the beta, fellas, I was finally able to get a PS4. I do have a PS4. I haven't hooked it up yet, though. It's still in the box. I just haven't had time to set it all up, man. Uh, but I went with the Last of Us bundle. There was some different bundles I could have got. There was the Batman bundle, which I thought about. Uh, that white PS4 with the Batman bundle looks sexy as hell. I was thinking of getting that, but uh, I went with the Last of Us uh, bundle just because I think Last of Us is probably going to be a better game. Uh, I don't mean to upset any Batman fans out there, but uh, I really want to. I've been wanting to play Last of Us for the longest time, and I've always had a PlayStation. I have PlayStation One, PlayStation Two, PlayStation Three. So it was only a matter of time. Oh, the general calling in another napalm strike. Oh no! And I got flashbanged. No! <laughs> oh my God! I survived somehow. Luckily, that napalm strike missed me, and the dude who flashbanged me didn't want to follow it up with a nade or a push. He just sat back. Whatever worked out. I'm still alive, baby. That's all I know. <laughs> I'm still. Oh my God! The general. The general calling in another attack chopper. Yo, stand down, general. Calm down, general. It's just a pub, dude. It's just a pub. Oh, my God. Damn, this dude thinks he's a real general. He's calling in airstrikes, choppers left and right. Holy shit, this dude's a beast. So, so, so I'm, I got the Last of Us uh, digital copy, by the way. I got a digital code for it. Cannot wait to start playing that shit. And, of course, Uncharted 4 is going to be dropping soon on the PS4. Cannot wait to get my hands on that. I am not going to be getting Destiny on the PS4. Everyone was asking me that on Twitter. Uh, like I said, dude, I got a thousand hours on the Xbox One version uh, since September when it came out. And, oh, just had enough bullets to finish that dude off right there. And there's just no way I could start over. I, especially with the Taken King right around the corner, man. I'm going to have pretty much all the stuff that the PS4 has got on the Xbox One. 
And oh my god, that, that was bad. That was just bad aim. Luckily, I survived somehow because that dude is just... Hey, luckily, that's not the Black Ops 2 sniper. If that dude had the Black Ops 2 sniper, you know I would have been dead. Insta-kill to the pinky toe, man. And look at this dude camping up here. Get on, son. Uh, yeah, my aim was a little bit off. Like I said, dude, have not played this game in a while. This was like my first game of the day. And I'm actually surprised I got the score that I got. Uh, luckily, I was in a very um, YouTube-friendly lobby, so to speak. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. But that general dude was going ham, man. Oh, my God. What did that dude finish up with? That dude had, oh, damn, that dude dropped a shitload of kills. But I, I went 42 and 1. Now let's check out this dude's uh, combat record right here, man. This dude, general guy. Woo, general of the army. What's this dude got? Damn, 2.62 KD. Not bad, not bad at all. General, it was, uh, it was a pleasure <laughs> going up against you, man. You're a beast. Keep doing your thing. Uh, all right, guys, that's all I got for today. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay commentary. And if you did, please don't forget to drop a like. It is greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys on the next one.